The place where the heinous murder of three children occurred nearly 13 years ago is still causing bad memories for some residents. Now the county is stepping in. CBS 4's Tiffany Huertas has our report. Doors remain sealed, but the memories are still locked inside. There's not a day that goes by. Muy triste, eso fue muy triste. That Maria Zaragoza does not think about what happened at this building across her home. No concibo yo eso, como pudo haber pasado eso entre siendo sus padres. On March 11th, 2003, police arrived to an apartment on 8th and Tyler Street in Brownsville, only to discover one of their most disturbing crime scenes. We found the, the sisters in plastic bags. The bodies of three-year-old Julissa Quesada, 14-month-old John Esteban, and two-month-old Mary Jane were found beheaded. Investigators determined that their mother, Angela Camacho, and her common-law husband, John Allen Rubio, were behind the murders. Those children were not his. And, and he wanted to start fresh with Angela. Rubio is on death row and Camacho is serving three life terms for her part in the murders. For more than a decade, the apartments remained abandoned. But now, some residents want it gone. Que tumben eso. Sí, mira, porque allí seguido se ven drogadictos allí. We feel that we have almost an unanimous uh, vote from the community that we should get rid of this building. Brownsville City Manager Charlie Kabler says during last month's commission meeting, they decided to demolish the infamous apartment building. We have had uh, some uh, viable interest in uh, from companies that would be willing to help knock it down. The demolition is set to take place within the next 60 days. Some residents hope the demolition will bring the community closure. Yo decía si me los hubieran regalado a mí, yo aunque hubiera pedido, si más no tenía limona, pero los hubiera mantenido. Over the next few months, officials will determine what to do with the property. In Brownsville, Tiffany Huerta, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. And Brownsville City Manager says the city will be having conversations with the neighbors about what they would want to see in the building's place.